sign up and try again. Hey, what's up everyone? Louis Tran here and in this video, well, there's no real review in this video So it's just a vlog just to get you updated on uh, on what's going on I haven't had much time to create any reviews and videos lately because I've been pretty busy uh, I've got a trip to Australia coming in the next uh, two weeks from now maybe less than two weeks about 11 days from now and uh, you know I've been really busy with work uh, trying to you know get everything everything ready running around like a headless chicken getting everything ready so that uh, you know I could leave uh, LA with a clear conscience and going to Australia so I don't have to really think about uh, work too much well even though I'm probably gonna occasionally check my email while I'm out there uh, which is a really bad habit I know I really got to disconnect from work because it's been um, you know, it's been pretty crazy lately and we've been really busy, lots of things happening over there. But, um, before I go any further, hey, I want to say that we have hit, I have hit, we have hit, I don't know, this channel has hit uh, 200 plus subscribers. I think as of this moment it's 201, so thank you guys for subscribing and I really appreciate that. Yay! Alright, so, um, in this video, well I'm going to talk about a couple of things. Um, yeah, you know what, technology's been pretty funny lately. Uh, first of all, that whole fiasco with the Galaxy Note 7 uh, catching on fire. So what is going on with the Galaxy Note 7 and its battery? Well, according to Samsung in an official statement, they have found at least 35 incidences where the Galaxy Note 7's battery has dangerously overheated, caught fire while charging, or soon after charging. And also I want to talk about the, uh, <laughs> my razor blade stealth, my poor razor blade stealth. You know, I, I rated that thing, um, uh, really high. I mean, like I, I totally, I recommended it. I really loved, loved it. And you know, just a, a week ago, a couple of weeks ago, uh, it just stopped turning on. Well, I mean, it does turn on, but the screen, uh, just doesn't come on. It just, you know, the lights blink and everything. And, um, and I, and that's about it. You know, the screen's blank. Uh, lights blink, screens are powered on, but the screen's blank and I can't do anything with it. So uh, I sent it in uh, to get RMA to get repaired. Uh, I mean, it's been a it's been a process. I mean, sending an email to Razor support staff. Uh, you send one email and then the next day they reply back. You reply back, then the next day they reply back to that. So you know, it took like about four, 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 almost four or five business days. About a week. Uh, for them to finally, you know, send, get me an RMA uh, to send in and um, to get repaired. So uh, that's currently with Razor right now. So I'm without a Razor Blade Stealth. And uh, just recently, I did pick up a, uh, <laughs> I picked up a Microsoft Surface Book, which I'm going to be talking about in a second. But even that was a pain in the ass uh, in the beginning because right when I got it, uh, I turned it on and then crashed on me I mean it, it did the initial startup and then right when I log into Windows for the first time it froze and I'm like okay that's weird so I powered it off I powered it back on and everything was fine and uh, I used it for a couple of days well actually my first frustration was that I tried to install Chrome the 64-bit version of Chrome um, at that time like a week ago it, it had some weird issues with uh, the Windows 10 so you know, I try, or with the service book. So when I hit, uh, you know, when I when I launch the the app application, when I launch Chrome, it just freezes. You know, I so I launch it. So I uninstalled it, reinstalled it, and then it froze. So then, it, I, and then it pissed me off for like at least, you know, it, it was uh, pretty a pretty frustration, frustrating ordeal for at least one or two hours. You know, finally, uh, you know, I just took a stab at installing the 32-bit version of Chrome, which worked perfectly fine. And uh, you know, I was quite happy with it. Everything was fine. A few days later, uh, <laughs> I try to log. I just power on the my service book, and then all of a sudden, it um, it froze. I mean, not, it didn't freeze, but you know, it was the usual Windows login screen. But after that, uh, I couldn't log in. I hit up, hit down, I hit enter, and I hit all these. Hit every. I just about every single key. I just wasn't able to sign in. And then I was like, you know what? F this. I, I took it back to Best Buy, and Best Buy, um, you know, luckily I, I have the receipts, and I'm a Best Buy, you know, Best Buy Elite member. So 
but so I got like 45 days to return it. But uh, you know, whatever. I, I I brought it back to Best Buy, and then they they have you know they were really nice and they swapped it out for me. So I go home, I set it up, everything works fine, and then I see on the internet forums that hey, 64-bit uh, version of Chrome, I think Chrome 53, works perfectly fine with the Surface Book. So I installed that, and everything's been great since then. So. Then I look in the ad, uh, I see that, um, you know, I was just searching around uh, Best Buy, you know, just my daily routine of looking at websites, seeing what's on sale over there. And then I see that, you know, it happens to fall within Labor Day. Today is Labor Day right now as of this recording, but uh, this was like yesterday or a couple days ago. I see that um, Best Buy's got a sale, uh, a, a special for if you buy the Surface Book, you get the Surface Dock. And I'm like, oh crap. You know, I should have gotten the Surface Dock while I exchanged the, uh, the, uh, the, the, the Surface Book. So then I went back to Best Buy, and then it was just another whole ordeal in... Oh, the dog's barking, sorry. They're still barking. Oh my god, they're crazy. Okay, anyway, so let me, um, let me get back to my story. So I go back to Best Buy, and it was a whole ordeal in, in, in just price matching the, uh, the, the, the free uh, Surface Book. Uh, and then, you know, the manager got involved because uh, I used a, a student coupon and there was another there was another discount on top of that. And then it was just so much, um, you know, there was just a, such a bad, big process that, you know, the manager got involved and then he was nice enough to just say, you know what, uh, we're just going to return your, uh, return the, that Surface Dock, um, credit it back to your credit card and then, you know, we'll just, uh, we'll just uh, sell you the, the Surface Dock for a penny. And with penny, so which was fine. So you know, the, the guys at Best Buy Pasadena, uh, you know, kudos to you guys. You guys are awesome. And uh, whew, man, so again, I got like the Note 7 failing on me. I had to return that uh, to to T-Mobile. Uh, you know, I really like, really, really liked uh, the the Note 7. I mean, it was like one of the most beautiful phones I've ever owned, ever used. Um, you know, it had a few quirks, but you know. I, get used to it and then you know there were things to to um, to speed up the device I disabled a couple of applications you know s voice s health and and most of the Samsung applications and then everything was just buttery smooth and then of course you know news of the recall came out and I thought about keeping it but then I thought you know what why risk it I'm going to Australia uh, and then you know I can't have the phone you know catching on fire while I'm in flight or or the phone just you know not having a phone while I'm, I'm overseas, you know, I, I get I get really insecure and paranoid about that. But you know, at the same time, you know, imagine, imagine, you know, you're you're in a flight and then your phone catches on fire. Holy shit, that could cause uh, cause some chaos. But uh, yeah, I had to return that. Um, went to T-Mobile and the people at T-Mobile they were really nice, and but I feel bad for them because I'm sure that they're gonna have a whole they had a whole bunch of these coming uh, coming in, and then it was like a 28 step. Process. I saw the document that the girl was looking at in in uh, returning the uh, returning the Note 7 without you know charging me a restocking fee, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And then also plus I bought the phone online, and then again T-Mobile was cool enough to accept the returns in stores, even though that that's you know out of their process. So uh, they went. It was a 28-step process. Took about 15 to 20 minutes, I think. 30 minutes. I don't know. Uh, it was less than half an hour, and they, again, the, the girl who was working there, she was really cool, she was really, really nice about it, and uh, refunded that back to my account, and then now I am back on this iPhone 6S Plus. It was kind of weird uh, getting getting uh, used to using this again. Um, you know, I miss all the, all, the, all the bells and whistles of the Note 7, but you know, the, it's not so bad. The iPhone 6S Plus is a reliable phone. But um, I do have, iOS 10 beta installed on it, the public beta, I think it's a beta 6 right now, and there's, a, there's some things that, that are kind of stupid about this thing, like for instance, uh, you have these notifications on the, uh, on the, on the screen in your notification, uh, on your notification screen, and then, you know, you really, you have to like hard press, uh, for, use force touch to, to, uh, to interact with your notifications, you know, whereas back then in iOS 9, you just swipe and then, hey, I'm, I get to reply back to to uh, to an instant message or to a text message or to an iMessage or a Facebook message. Now I got a force touch and then swiping left and right to just to get back. I don't know. It's really confusing to to uh, to get into the application from the, the notification screen. Some apps work, some apps don't. So I mean, it's still in beta. 
I guess it will be a lot better once uh, once they final, you know, once the Golden Master comes out, and uh, obviously when the uh, iPhone 7 comes out. So again, back on the iPhone uh, 6 Plus, really miss the Note 7. I mean, once the recall is over, I really hope that the Samsung, you know, once the recall is over, uh, I'm, I think I'm going to definitely purchase the. Uh, the, the Note 7 again, um, even though you know it sucks for Samsung, it's just bad timing that you know it's on the eve of the launch of the iPhone 7, as well as you know the uh, the press conference for the iPhone 7 is like within a couple days from now. So today is Sunday. Uh, their their iPhone 7 announcement uh, will be on uh, Wednesday, which I think is the seventh. Is it the seventh? Yeah, let's assume it's the seventh. So uh, lots of things coming out. Um, lots of things coming out. Uh, I, you know, I have to double take on my phone. I was looking, it's Monday. You know, why the hell didn't I go to work today? I realized, of course, it's Labor Day. But, you know, lots of things, uh, hopefully lots, lots of good things coming out for the, uh, Apple device, you know, for Apple. Uh, I'm looking forward to them announcing the new, uh, MacBook Pro. You know, I'm still using my MacBook Pro 2013. Uh, and then they really haven't really, they really haven't updated it. Since then, aesthetically, it still looks the same. Pretty much uh, the same processor. They never moved to Skylake, so probably they will probably move to KV Lake uh, by then. Um, also, I mean, who knows? Maybe there might be a new iPad. Uh, might be a new Apple Watch. Lo lots of lots of exciting things that uh, Apple will announce. And of course, uh, they're gonna make it look good. They're gonna make it um, sound really awesome. And then, <laughs> just like every every iPhone uh, launch. You know, you think about it and it's like, well, that's it, you know, nothing really new, but, you know, oh, wow, but Apple was so good in presenting it, and, and, you know, that's what they do, you know, they have one of the best marketing, you know, they have one of the best marketing teams in the world, so, of course, everyone's going to be all excited about that, and then, uh, we'll just have to wait and see, so, what else, what else, what else do I have, well, I think that is about it, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.